Dr. James Oshetsky addresses a common question and misconception of how T-Scan differs from intraoral scanners and the value they both bring to a dental clinic. My name is Dr. James Oshetsky. I'm a board certified dental implantologist. Uh, my practice focuses on rehabilitations, both implant and natural tooth restorations. Intraoral scanning and the T-Scan are both paramount to my digital workflow. So my basic goals of occlusion are a balanced occlusion and protected occlusion and interior guidance if I can obtain it. The T-Scan technology measures occlusion and a specific function is to evaluate how the mouth dentition comes together in time in relative force uh, with greater accuracy than you, you can ever imagine to get with traditional carbon papers or bite papers. Uh, we really don't really understand how teeth actually articulate or come together. Because when it comes down to it, it, is you just can't rely on carbon papers, carbon marks to tell you what's going on. You can't get there without understanding actually how the teeth hit. And so digital occlusal technology is something that came uh, to my attention when trying to really dial down some of the complications I was seeing with either uh, natural teeth cracking, dental prosthetics breaking, uh, having bone loss around dental implants. Those factors, uh, or those cases, or those complications, you really have to rule out the occlusal factor. And you can't do that without understanding uh, the digital side of the bite. It became evident that, well, maybe there's a piece that's missing. And there is, and it's pretty significant. This piece that's missing is is very influential on a patient's treatment, final outcome, and prognosis of a prosthetic. A specific function is to evaluate in, in timing, in intensity, relative force, how teeth are coming together with greater accuracy than you, you can ever imagine to get with traditional carbon papers or bite papers. So an internal scanner basically digitizes your mouth. It's using many fields and technologies for mapping, architecture. Uh, it's found its home in dentistry because it basically allows us to create a 3D, three-dimensional map or image structure of your mouth. So the intraoral scanner is, will give you good approximation of where the teeth should be, much, sometimes much more accurate than laboratory procedures, direct analog procedures, but it is not, it's not a tool that I use to make any type of occlusal adjustment directly. The technology is not meant for measurement or adjustment of dental prosthetics. The mapping technologies of intraoral scanners is gives us an idea. It puts us in the ballpark. Uh, what gives it a home run is dialing in the visual occlusal technology, the T-scan, and finalizing the finite adjustments, the, the, the closure, the timing, the interferences to MIP, the non-working or working interferences, which can't possibly be measured in one static registration by an intraoral scanner how teeth are going to collide or contact over time. It's not going to measure the interferences. It's not going to give me any usable data that I can rely on to make an adjustment or be confident in the delivery of a prosthetic. So the intraoral scanner and the T-scan both accomplish different things, but they're both paramount to my digital workflow. I can't work without either of them. Although the data and usage or application of T-scan and intraoral scanners can often be confusing for the practicing dentist, they are both complementary technologies and valuable to a practice. And as Dr. Oshetsky states, he really can't work without either one of them.